Morning. So we got a 2011 F350 here, uh, six seven diesel. Um, real low mileage, a lot of idle hours. It was a municipal truck uh, all of its life, and the customer just purchased this truck. And bef before he had purchased it, apparently it had some uh, DPF issues. So uh, the seller took it to a shop, and uh, they took the unit off and sent it down and had it refurbished or whatever. I don't know what they do to them. Uh, never had one done. But uh, anyway, it made it 129 miles, and uh, first thing that happened is it blew the cack off. You know, a lot of exhaust pressure going to blow your cack off on this uh, cold side pipe. They're plastic, and if it's an original, it gets brittle, and, you know, boost pressure is going to bust that off of there. So they had that fixed, and then, of course, it was really low on power. And uh, so they quit driving it and sent it somewhere, and now it's here. But it came over basically not running. So, uh, you know, unhook the pipe, thing fires right up, runs perfect. So, you know, we want to know why. So it did have a couple of codes for the pressure sensor. You know, the uh, erratic signal on circuit A, which, you know, and the performance of P0471, you know, which is the sensor performance. Um, it's not seeing what it wants to see, of course, if everything's plugged up and the engine's running. So, uh, you know, it'll, the PCM will interpret that as a circuit code or erratic signal. Um, anyway, so we want to know what failed on this since it was just refurbished. So I got to poking around in there. So the way these things work, it's, you know, a four and a half foot long unit in there. And uh, you have two catalysts in there. The first catalyst is a diesel oxidation catalyst and it reduces, you know, hydrocarbons, uh, carbon monoxide, and does burn off a little bit of, you know, when it's up to temperature, it will burn off some organic particulate. It'll reduce that a little bit. And the second catalyst in there is the, what they call the selective catalyst. And, you know, by the time the exhaust hits that, it breaks down further the uh, nitrous oxides, or oxides of nitrogen, and uh, behind that there's a little chamber and that's where your injector is for your diesel exhaust fluid, your urea. It injects that into the exhaust stream and that further breaks down your nitrogen oxides. And uh, then you have behind that you have your filter. And there's also at the very end of that you've got a uh, NOx sensor, you know, uh, that measures the NOx in the exhaust and that's what determines, you know, how much uh, diesel exhaust fluid is injected into the exhaust stream to further break down those oxides of nitrogen. So uh, our selective uh, catalyst is completely plugged up and I was able to get in there through some of the holes in there and the, the hole in the front of the pipe I could look at the diesel oxidation catalyst with my little camera and it looks just fine. I could see the back of it and the front of the, the uh, selective catalyst with my little camera through a hole holes in there uh, temp not the temp sensor hole but the the SCR hole the injector hole I could look at the back of the SCR and it looks pretty nasty and the front of it through the pressure sensor hole I could see both the back and the front of, of both converters and the back of the cur uh, dock converter looks perfect and the front of the the uh, selective catalyst is just looks really bad, looks melty, and, and uh, which is kind of weird. I'm not really sure why that happened, but uh, anyway, uh, you know, the only thing we can do here is is uh, replace the whole system. It's pretty expensive, so you want to make sure, you know, whatever caused that, you address that issue, and I'm not seeing that issue so I'm gonna have to replace that and then uh, you know do some little bit more testing on it before I ship it out but I'm sure it's gonna be fine I don't know what they did to the filter when they refurbish them like I said I have no idea um, I don't know if they replace the dock in them or just clean them and flow test them but uh, you know this 
is all original stuff in here, at least the SCR is, because it's in a can that's neck down on both ends and it would be really hard to, you can't get that uh, substrate out of there without destroying it, so I know that's original. I don't know if they replaced the, the dock or not. I know you can buy those and cut them open and replace those. But uh, anyway, so we got one on order. They're back ordered and it'll be here well, the delivery date of the 11th, so maybe before then, maybe a little bit after then, we'll we'll have one, and uh, then we can get it in here, maybe do a little bit more testing and ship it back to the customer. So anyway, thanks.